So this is the very edge of the bone. What we're doing is trying to resect this bone so it would no longer pit, pinch. So we're taking off a bunch of it. We're going to focus our you right down here a little bit more. And see, we've gotten most of this bone already. That looks really good. So you can see there's the edge of the bone. We're trying to get some bleeding edge and that's exactly what we want. There's the edge of the bone right there. Try and take that down. That's good. That looks good. Okay, so now we're going to try to fix this shot. That looks much better. We took off that edge. Switch stick. Camera. No. No. In this. Okay, so we're going to put the cannula in here, get the guide. Guide for the drill next. Yeah. And then drill. So we're going to look. Shot. So that looks good. Actually, you know something? We're able to elevate your labrum up. I think we're able to just do one right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Drill, anchor. Mallet. Looks good. It's holding nicely, sp uh, spectrum. So we're going to go through it right here. Here. Good. So we're going to push this all the way through. We're going to do a mattress type of stitch to repair this back on here. You can see there's no gap to see into the joint right now, but as soon as we repair this, it should be much better.
<laughs> load that. Thank you. I'm gonna load the pressure on that. That looks good. I'm gonna look back down this way. There we go. So that looks really good. Can we lower the pressure to uh, 40, please? Good. Turn. Look down. There it goes. Okay, loopy grass for Not too much tension, just gentle. that one. Good. Uh, we can call. Oh, thanks. So you can see where the stitch is coming through. Now we're going to... Pusher. That looks good. Look from the top. Thank you. So that's how this is going to go. This is going to sew it right like that. Preparing that back onto its base. Looks good. And then we're going to finish the tie. This looks really good. Now you can just see your, your labrum is all white, so meaning there's no blood in there. So this is the only thing that I would do different is I'd probably inject a PRP if you wanted um, to uh, increase the chance for healing because you can see there's no bleeding in here. That's uh, one thing that's just a little concerning, even though we're sewing it to the right spot. I just hope this heals. Cutter. That looks good. I'm going to take a look. That looks good. So inside that looks a lot better. Now we're going to see about reducing this hip back in... S oh, you have a little bump here, so we're going to take care of spinal needle. Right, and then uh, shot. So that looks good. Night now wire, and then red dilator knife, and then red dilator. So we're going to do your cam lesion right now. Half pipe 
and then the blader. Blader, please. A blader. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up or tee off your capsule, which is right here, to see. Shot. Good, so it's showing me that I'm right around that cam lesion. So I'm going to take this off right here. This is right to your femoral neck, so it's okay to cut here. So as I cut here, you can see there's a bump right there. And this is what is, so the femoral neck up here looks okay. Femoral neck down here, you can see that little bump right here. You can see that it continues right here, and this is what we're going to take off. Take the burr next. So there's that bump, and it's small, and we'll go after it. Shot, and that's what it looks like there, half pipe, burr. So this is how we can see shot. Shot. So that's where we are. We can see that looks good. Turn this out a little bit. Shot. Good. So I can see that spur a little better here. We're going to cut that off. Just by smoothening everything so that it's one straight line instead of So we're just going to keep working on this, I'll show you in a second. A blader.